heathens. So I've noticed in the last few videos for some reason that my angle was a little off and so part of me was getting cut off. But I'm hoping between leaning forward and leaning back with this angle it's a little bit better. But today's video I am pretty excited for and also pretty nervous for honestly because I'm going to be trying to do a right hand versus left hand kind of challenge. I don't know if this is something that's been done before but it's something that I've had on my mind for a while because I am right hand dominant, hello, and my left hand is completely useless. So I thought it would be fun to do like a side by side where I do this side of my face using my right hand, which is how I always do my makeup, but then to recreate it, <clears throat> excuse me, on this side using my left hand and seeing if it's even possible for me. So without further ado, I'm just gonna jump on in I'm going to start off with my eyes. I had makeup on earlier, so if you see some black flecks, it's because this morning I used the Thrive Cosmetics, um, what's it called, like false extension mascara, but it's a tubing mascara, so little like bits were coming off when I was cleaning it. So ignore the black flecks, that's just bits of mascara still uh, lingering on my face. There's one up under my eye as we speak. So anyway, for eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using the Ace Beauty Flare Palette. <clears throat> it has all these gorgeous shades in it. And I'm going to mainly go in with the colors I was wearing this morning, which is orange and maybe incorporate a little bit of the purple because I want to kind of bring out the colors in my dress, if you could see that at all. So I'm just going to jump right on in. I'm going to take a little Wet n Wild brush. You can usually find these at Dollar Tree or something. I really like them because they've got like a spot for your thumb to go, which is useful for my right hand. We'll see how that affects my left hand. I'm going to tap into the shade Cider first, which is like this kind of mustardy yellow. And I'm going to just lay that all across my crease. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just finished eating lunch and I guess I swallowed something wrong because I definitely feel like there's something still in my throat. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna, like I said, lay this everywhere, build up a decent amount of pigmentation, kind of take it over my lid just a little bit, and then I'm gonna tap in with my right hand and try to recreate that with my left hand. I don't even know how to hold the brush with my left hand. Oh crap. Oh my gosh. I didn't, I knew this was going to be weird, but I didn't even think about how I was going to hold brushes. <clears throat> so like the thumb hole is in a different spot. So I have to hold it differently. Oh dear. Okay. This is kind of another reason I wanted to use this palette because it is really pigmented. So we're going to see where I mess up. Oh dear. Okay, that's pretty similar. Similar enough. We're going to stop while I'm ahead there. Now I'm going to tap into the shade Pump. Excuse you. The shade Pumpkin, which is like a pure orange. Usually I kind of stay away from orange shades because as a fair-skinned redhead, sometimes they're not the most flattering either in makeup or in clothes. But I did an orange look this morning, like I said, to kind of bring out the orange in my dress. I'm almost identically recreating my look this morning, except I had used my right hand for both and I want to do a full face. But I really, really liked the way that it looked actually. So I'm just building this color up. I'm trying to leave it where you can still see a little bit of cider over the top. And I'm bringing it all the way from inner to outer corner. Now I'm going to switch over. This hand literally has no idea what it's doing. Like how do I even hold it? <clears throat> so I hold it like this with my right hand. So I'm going to try to hold it 
like that with my left hand. And then leave in the comments down below which hand dominant are you and is your other hand useful? Because this whole thing like really came to a head. Like I said, it's been something I've been thinking about doing for a while. But um, my boyfriend's sister and I were building something and she can use both of her hands for pretty much everything. And I was reminded how utterly useless my left hand is. It's taking three times as long to do this side. I don't know if that's really coming across, but now I'm going to go into the shade beside it, which is hazelnut, which is like a deeper red brown orange, just a little bit. And I'm just going to go diagonal across the outer corner and up into the crease just a bit to build some dimension on this outer edge. Alright, <clears throat> other hand, tapping in, oh. I also feel like for some reason with my left hand I apply a lot more pressure, like I genuinely ooh, have no idea how to use it more gently. Uh, that's what we're looking at thus far. Even out my lid a little bit more. Okay. <clears throat> now, this part shouldn't be too hard. I'm going to do, again, exactly what I did this morning and take Firefly on my pointer finger. And we're going to put that over the inner part of my eyelid. I think this shade is so pretty. It's a like yellow and yellow and gold. It's like an orange and gold um, iridescent shade. And then take my other hand, pointer finger, firefly, and do the same thing. All right. <clears throat> I don't think that's terrible. I think they're definitely not even, but it's manageable. Now to move on to the face, I'm going to just take, mm, I guess I'm going to use this to make it look a little better. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation in the shade L20, which is light ivory. Put a little bit on the back of my hand. Because the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to take my right hand like normal to pat onto the right side of my face. And then I'm going to use my right hand to maneuver the brush to blend it. And then for the other side, hmm, how will I use my left hand? Because it's on my left hand. I didn't think that one through very well. Oh well, I'll have to use my right hand to dot it on my face and then use my left hand to just blend it out over my face, like holding the brush. And we'll see how that goes. This is a really, really nice foundation. I really think it's the, not this shade, but the other shade is actually the first foundation that I really started wearing, like, more often since high school. I had a little foundation compact in high school that was also CoverGirl that I used to wear from time to time. But I've never been a really big foundation person until maybe within the last year. Because I don't know if my skin color has changed a little bit as I've gotten older or if there are just that many more options on the market now, but it used to be so hard for me to find foundations that matched. Like, some of the foundations I have now, I wouldn't say match-match, but they match, oh, shoot. 
We're going to pretend that little dab dab didn't happen. See, just a little dab dab. I went in with my right hand because I'm just sitting here talking. Um, some of the foundations I have now may not match perfectly. This is weird. But they match well enough where I can, like, make it work. And it's not terribly questionable. Uh, some of them, one that I tried giving to a friend of mine that is still sitting on my desk at work because I keep forgetting to bring it home to, like, take a picture and see if anyone else wants it. <clears throat> um, it, I can kind of get away with in the right lighting, but I also have to, if I really want to get away with it, drag it, like, all the way down my neck. And that's just a hassle, to be honest. Like, it's not terrible, but it's a little too beige tan for me. So, in the wrong lighting, like, you can really tell. Also, I feel like this was just all the way into my skin, dragging it. Because, again, my light, my light hand, my left hand doesn't know how to be light-handed. So, like, across my chin where I was just doing that, there's definitely... Oh, I didn't prime. Darn it. Oh, well. There's definitely some, uh... Little marks where it looks a little funny. This is why, or how I remembered that I forgot to prime because my forehead looks pretty rough. Okay, I think that's okay. Let's do a comparison. It's not terrible. Maybe my left hand might be a little more useful. And I thought it just needs some practice. I kind of neglect my left hand because it's always been useless. So it doesn't ever do a whole lot. I don't give it a chance to. I am going to do something today that I don't always do with this foundation and that's powder it. So I'm going to take the e.l.f. translucent setting powder. I'm going to take way too much, pour some back in. And just leave some in the lid. I'm going to take my big moto brush. This is usually what I use for setting if I'm in this room. I have a different one in the bathroom for like if I'm getting ready for work. And I'm just going to pat everything down because I want to make sure that I'm giving the bronzer and everything a good fighting chance. I don't want to run the risk of it like sticking on the foundation and me thinking that it's my left hand not doing a good job. If that makes sense. So I want to make sure that everything is fully, properly set and ready for blending over top. I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like there's a line right there where, like, foundation didn't go or something. <clears throat> this is a really nice foundation for the days that I do. I mean, what am I saying? This is a really nice powder for the days where I decide to do concealer. Um, I know some people don't like, like, HD powders, and this is definitely, I just lost some of it. This is definitely an HD style powder. It's super, super finely milled. It is white. So if not used thinly enough, it can definitely create a bit of flashback. My hair is just a mess today. I am so sorry. I didn't bother to do anything special with it before I started this. All right, so I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics bronzer in... Tranquil Tan. This is their satin bronzer. I'm going to tap in, ready for my right side. And we're just going to take it across the cheeks. I'm using this one instead of the Ofra Americano bronzer because they have very similar tones. So if I use too much of this one on accident, it can definitely look way too orangey red, but it doesn't immediately deposit as much down as the Ofra one does. So I feel like I have a better chance of properly controlling it, even with my left hand. Whereas the Ofra bronzer, it's like, once you pat it in and pat it on, it's there, honey. 
So let's try to swirl and not go too low. I don't even know how to make that motion with my left hand. Ugh. I guess making faces while trying to do bronzer probably isn't the best idea because it's going to go places it's not meant to anyway, but... Oh, I just got some on my cheek. Uh... Oh yeah, there's a lot more happening over here. Uh... Try to thin it out a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna we're we're gonna stop while we're ahead because my whole cheek will be bronzed if I'm not careful. Next we have I did not get a highlighter ready, but we have highlighter next. So what is the closest highlighter to me? Okay, I use this one a lot in videos. I'm sorry. This is the Disney Designer part of your world, part of the Disney um, collection from ColourPop. Super shock cheek. I always use my ring finger, so I'm going to take my right ring finger for my right side, and we're just going to pat that over my cheek. I don't know how I feel about the pinky look with this, so I might find a gold to put over top. <clears throat> oh darn, I done did it. Well, I wasted that part of highlighter because now I have to wipe it off and go on with my left ring finger. It's so hard to remember to do that because my left hand, like I said, I don't use it for anything. So trying to remember to use it is a little difficult. Down my nose. That is a really wide strip of highlight. Okay. It's okay. It doesn't look terrible. Alright, I'm going to finish my eyes because I do want to use a bit of the purple. So I'm going to go in with... Is that just stained? Yeah. I'm going to go in with an angled little flat brush and I'm going to go in with the shade Aubergine. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that. Which is like a purpley. It's not exactly purple, but it is a purple. It's like a fuchsia. And I'm going to take that on the lower lash line. And then do the same thing with my left hand. Try not to poke my eye out. Oh. Not bad. I'm making it look like I know what I'm doing with my left hand. Hmm. Alright, now I'm going to take a little pointy brush. I'm going to dip into the shade Biscotti, which is the little champagne up in the corner. I don't know if it's going to work on a brush, but I'm going to try to put that on my inner corner. Oh yeah, that works. I wasn't sure if I might have to use my finger for that shade. In the pan, it definitely looks like champagne -y silver, but over top of those colors, it definitely brings out some of the like silvery gold in it. Uh. Yeah. Okay, try not to sneeze. What's next? Let's go ahead and do mascara because this is scary. I'm gonna use the AOA uh, Fat Lash from shopmissa.com. Let me get this back open. Again, 
of course right hand for the right side which is just normal for me a little bit on my eyelid but that's okay for anyone who needs a good mascara and you don't have a lot to splurge this is a really good one and it's a dollar like all right <clears throat> Uh, trying to like hold everything so that you can see what I'm doing but I can also see what I'm doing and there's a wall right here on my left side so it definitely feels a little more restricted than my right side I feel like everyone watching this is probably like, no, it's not bad, and really surprised at my surprise, but I promise you the surprise is not fake. My left hand is useless, usually. All right, now lips. I'm going to, I guess use this. It's going to be kind of dramatic with everything. Do I want to do that? No. Let's go for... No. Ugh. I don't have any good nudes here in front of me. Why? Why? Tell me why. Well, that was horrible. Let's pretend that didn't happen. This will do. This is the Illamasqua that I received. And I'm going to go back to my star mirror. Right hand for right side. Now, switching over to the left hand. I feel like this video is a lot more boring than I anticipated, holy cow. But I'm learning something about myself here. I'm gonna now take, I'm just gonna do this with my right hand, the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Setting Spray. This is one of the finest misters. Ooh, there is just spray going everywhere that I've ever used. It feels so good. All right, so this is what we're looking at at the end. Do you see a difference in the two sides? I just try to do an outside real light or like natural light follow up for videos like this. So we've got right hand side and then left hand side. And if so, what do you give? my left hand for trying. Is it an A for effort or do I need a little more practice? Let me know what you thought. Let me know if this video was entertaining at all. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more of my content. And I have a bump on the side of my neck. Rude. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Bye.